everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am on my way to be at the bus stop so I will be able to get the kids off the bus safe and sound. I'm a little nervous because I'm cutting it close. It takes me about 25 or 30 minutes to get there and the bus is due to come in exactly 30 minutes. So. You know, the kids are still too young to let themselves in the house, about to be alone. Issa does have keys in, in case of an emergency, and he knows how to disarm the alarm and all of those things. Luckily, we haven't had to do that yet. I've, my Camry has been old faithful and always cranking for me and getting me there. On time. I usually do leave a little bit earlier, but I had to take a shower, wash my hair, dry my hair, curl my hair, put on makeup. <laughs> Didn't have to, but I felt like it. Finally, I'm, I'm still battling this old nasty head cold, and I think about 99% of y'all are too. Oh, I mean, just. If I could just get rid of the mucus, where in the world does it come from? I'm taking my mucus, I did cut back to the 600 milligram peel instead of the 1200 extended release. So, so I'm getting 600 in the morning and then 600 at night and it seems to be working. Uh, the main reason I did that was because I was taking the Robitussin DM with it and it has the same ingredient as Mucinex. I know all of y'all know that's Guafinescent. Well, Jill called me yesterday. They had called her from the clinic that she does per diem work. That's just if one of the nurses doesn't show up or has to go home sick or has to call out or whatever. The supervisor will call Jill to come in and work, and she likes working there because it pays very well. So she called me yesterday to uh, to come take care of the kids after school. I said, I just can't. I couldn't even get out of my pajamas yesterday. I was still so sick, and although I went back to sleep after the phone alarm went off in the neighboring building, I still just didn't rest well. But the main reason that I told her no is because I'm still sick. And it was colder yesterday. I just didn't want to get out in the cold. But I do feel better today. I slept, gosh, I slept about 10 o'clock this morning. So I, I got a really good night's sleep. Making up for the night before. So I got my rabbit foot fern put back in that blue pot that I had stored in my utility closet. LL Jean said I should call that my utility closet, so that's what I'm going to do. But I didn't, I don't have any more potting soil to add to it, so there really wasn't room anyway, but it is root bound, let me tell you. Maybe it's a good thing that I knocked it out of the window. Me and Mrs. Kravitz. <laughs> I think with me putting that little picture up there of Mrs. Kravitz, it brought back some good memories to y'all. One of my subs left a comment that she would always say, Abner, there's something funny going on over at the Stevens house, and, and Abner would just keep reading his newspaper. <laughs> I think she was always catching the magical things that went on over there and what was the bewitch lady's name? Samantha? And the daughter's name was Tabitha? I think so. I might be wrong. I I wasn't a real faithful watcher of that show, but I did watch it sometimes. Oh, traffic is heavy already. But anyway, I did, even though I felt like crap, I did get 
finished wiping out my oven. I got all the ashes out of it. And I cleaned the, the window part and the door and the front of the door. And I removed all of my baking pans from the warming tray and cleaned it out. It had crumbs, toast crumbs and bread crumbs down in it. So I cleaned it out and washed all of those baking pans, put those back in. What else? Oh, I got the microwave cleaned out. I finally found a solution to it by searching on YouTube. I just put a, about a half a cup of water in. First, I sprayed it with a little Lysol kitchen cleaner. And then I put a half a cup of water in it and heated it. And then the food that, there were just a couple of particles of food in there that were stuck on. Because I used that pig cover thing, so it doesn't really splatter that much. And it just wiped right out. It was so easy to clean. Then I like to polish it and, and make it look shiny and beautiful with Windex and a paper towel. So I got that done. Now I just have to remove it and clean the the shelf that is the countertop that it's sitting on and the wall behind it. Um, I removed all of the food items from the Lazy Susan cabinet. So I'm going to wipe that out. Yeah, I'm still using that Rachel Ray oil dispenser. Do y'all use an oil dispenser or do you just use the bottle that it comes in? <laughs> it's like an extra step having to pour it in there. I don't know, and it, it reminds me of a urinal. I just I used to take care of this elderly man, not Marco. Marco, even when he was 100 years old, he still went to the bathroom. But I did take care of another elderly man when I lived in Pensacola. And he always had that urinal sitting on the coffee table. So he didn't even try to hide it. And I just thought it was so gross looking. And that Rachel Ray oil dispenser, I think she calls it an Evu dispenser. Reminds me of it, but... Like I told one of my subscribers, I've taken out six bags of trash. Two bags I donated, the Jamaican family, and they have a lot of relatives still in Jamaica who are in need of clothing and shoes and blankets and things like that. So the clothing items and the good items, um, Jill took to her so that she could disperse them amongst her family in Jamaica. And then I had two bags of just pure trash. I cleaned out the freezer, old food in the freezer, the refrigerator, the pantry, and just junk that I had, old papers and stuff that I had in my... Oh, my phone stopped recording because the storage filled up again. I've really been working on that. I found my Google Cloud. <laughs> yes, I realize that I'm paying for it every month and I didn't even know how to access it. So I figured that out and sure enough, all of my videos and going all the way back to the birth of Isa and Ife are in my Google Storage Cloud. And um, and then the videos that I wanted to save. And then I, I my storage was still filling up. So I went to WhatsApp and I deleted 3,000 text messages and pictures and videos from between Jill and I. So I thought, well, surely that's going to solve my storage problem. And then it just filled up again. It's 62 gigabytes. So whenever I buy another Pixel phone, this is a Pixel 3a, and I think they're making the Pixel 8 now. But I don't want another phone. I love this one, and I'm used to it, and I'm comfortable with it. And I'll, I'll figure out how to keep the storage going so that it doesn't cut off like that again. And I apologize for that. I'm so sorry. But anyway, I'm here now. It's time for the bus to come. I got to get out in the rain and go get these children off the bus. I'm so excited to see them. If I miss a day or two seeing them, I really do miss them. This jacket doesn't have a hood on it. <laughs> I should have worn my purple one. 
I never know. It depends on which driver is driving today. The female driver comes from uh, this way, and then the male driver brings them this way. So, anyway, let me get out here and get these children off the bus. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and y'all share if you know of anybody that you think would like any of my silly content. And y'all just keep on coming back. Have a great rest of your evening, guys.